These shoes were made for dancing, and that's what they'll do. We're about to talk about Dance Dance Revolution, and I hope you like it too. Welcome to the 365 Blog. Yeah! All right, people. It is March 30th, 2016, day 90 of the 365 Blog, and we're going to talk about dance games. So as you may or may not know, something that I do like is actually dance games. So that is Dance Dance Revolution in the groove, pump it up, eh, whatever. But um, those are some of the games that I do like in addition to other rhythm games. I made another vlog about that, but that we're going to be talking about dance games today. So yesterday, the newest iteration of Dance Dance Revolution came out in Japan called Dance Dance Revolution Ace, and it's been all over my feed. It may not be an over of yours, but it's actually really important to me as I really do enjoy dance games. Now they overhauled the game, and there's lots of new things. There's a new theme, there's new songs, there's a new scoring system, and maybe a few other things I don't actually know at the moment. But it seems like DDR is trying to have a reboot as in, I think around June of this year in the summer, at a majority, maybe half of Dave & Buster's locations will be getting this new Dance Dance Revolution. Now, as somebody who's watching this video may or may not enjoy the Dance Dance Revolution series, or maybe you've played it once or twice, but it's something that's very exciting to me as I thought it was actually going to die out and I have to move to Japan and live there for the rest of my life to go play this game just because it was the game that was there. I know I sound crazy, but you know, fuck you. One thing that I was noticing yesterday as the build up of the hype was coming and the game was coming out, one of the things that I found hilarious is that a lot of people or a majority of people in the community or who just know about the game at all or have some inkling of watching the game do not like the announcer. And this shit is mind boggling to me because mind you I've been playing this game for maybe close to 10 years and I don't hear the motherfucker. Y'all must have some crazy like infrared hearing that y'all can actually hear the announcer as he's speaking while you're playing. Now granted, one of my friends brought up a good point about the announcer and people hearing him is that the people who hear him the most may be the people who aren't playing. You guys are just watching, so you're more in, in tune with actually hearing him as he's there. I know I'm not the highest skill level player, but I don't hear him at all, and I think people who are really focused on the game don't hear him either. But I can't speak for everyone, I'm just making assumptions based off of myself. Not saying that I'm the best, but you know I'm the greatest. Not really. But I think if you are playing the game and you have enough time to listen to the announcer as he's speaking, you got enough time to get your your good score while playing the game because your attention span is huge to hear all that or short, whichever one works for you. I don't know. Now, my advice to anyone who's watching this video is really honestly just ignore him. He's not that bad in my opinion. I guess you guys really must be tired of him. But what? Let's propose this question. What if you got an announcer who is 10 times worse than this announcer. Now wait, I know anyone watching this video is like, wait, 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 what the fuck are you talking about? You don't get any worse than this announcer. But what if, just what if he was more annoying than your last announcer? Then you'd still complain. Granted, there are complaints for every little thing. But personally, other than the announcer, which I really don't care uh, for or listen to, I'm actually really excited. I've been watching a little bit of the stream on this guy's channel, his name's Dr. D and he was putting it up and I saw a couple of songs. As for the theme in general, it is pretty met to me in terms of other themes that I've seen. I think one of my favorites was the last one. That was nice, X2 was nice as well. X was, mm, X3 was nice, but I went out of order. But the theme's okay, the music seems cool. I'm very interested though to see how it does in America when it comes out this summer. Whew, because I've been like waiting for it and it's gonna pop up really close to around where I live so or at least Dave and Buster near me but I'm really excited for that who knows what this means for the future of rhythm game maybe there'll actually be more rhythm games that will get imported if DDR does well and licensing doesn't fuck everything up and also if everyone can like get their shit together mainly in the community and not be too upset with whatever may happen if the pads aren't that great but that is another issue within itself. As you can see, I'm trying to passively, aggressively get through this point, but that's just another issue within itself. But many people have different issues with the game, as do I. 
Yeah, I know this is probably like a minuscule topic as any of them are on my channel to you guys, but this is actually really important to me. And I'm very excited because I'll be taping a lot of DDR videos as I do pass or frequent the area a lot. So that'll be something to look forward to this summer. I'm so excited. But yeah, that's pretty much the end of the video, guys. Just giving you a little update about something that's small happening in my life. That actually brought me a little bit of happiness. That made my happiness go from this to this. So that's actually really nice for the day. And if you made it to the end of this video, make me happy by hitting that like button because the new Dance Dance Revolution came out and you know you want to dance. Also, if this is your first time seeing my face, it will be like the last... I don't know, did I do that? But yeah, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for that annoying ass end voice. I hope it wasn't that annoying. But question of the day, have you ever played Dance Dance Revolution? What was your time when you did it? Did you have fun? Did you actually hate the game and stop playing for the rest of your life? I mean, that happened with me and Guitar Hero, but we're not gonna talk about that today. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video I was seeing my face or hearing my topic. But keep it 365, people, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Peace. Boy.